I met this girl when I was abroad about a year ago. I was it was my last day when I first saw her and I asked for a number and we started texting. It was awkward at first, but as time passed, we started to talk about more intimate stuff, like our dreams and our problems and shit like that. Like how I hated being home because I felt like an outsider, like I didn't belong anywhere. She would tell me about how she would jump from relationship to relationship just to feel something, to feel loved. We spent nights just texting each other stuff like this, you know, things that we were too afraid to talk about it with someone in person. You know, after some time I I felt like I, I could maybe fall in love with her. Which was weird because we haven't really talked in person. It's <laughs> It's kind of sad how a person who is like thousands of miles away from you has more of an effect on your life than anyone who's sitting next to you. Like, she knew about stuff that not even my closest friends or my mom even knew about. We would always talk about meeting each other and running away together. But deep down, I think we both knew that this was never going to happen. Yesterday I found out that she killed herself. I didn't really know how to feel and what to think. And to be honest, I still don't know. I just, I just had this empty feeling like my mind went blank. To be honest, this this whole experience, it just kind of felt surreal. Like every time I would text her, it feels like I would escape reality. It didn't quite feel like we existed in each other's lives, you know. Now that she's gone, it's... It's like none of it ever happened. Like she took all of my secrets with her. I don't know, maybe it means that I have to move on, but honestly, I don't know if I can. At this point you're craving my child.